All right, what's going on guys? T Torres back here for another video. It is a super hot day out here in Florida, but um, today we're going to be testing out the, um, the top speed on the Honda Navi. Um, we got the draggy, whoops, sorry about that. We have the draggy on the bike as well. I got it, I got it mounted here to the handlebars. Now, as far as modifications go, pretty much for performance wise, it, it stocks, it's stock besides the the intake and uh, we have uh, different jets in it so i'm curious to see how fast we can actually get the bike up to so that's one reason why uh we have the uh, we have the draggy on board too to give us some true live um gps data i think my speedometer uh with this 90 90 tire is off i think it's off by like two miles an hour based off the little test run that that i just made so let's go ahead and get on the bike and um I'm going to predict that I get up to 53, maybe 54 miles an hour uh, on the Honda Navi. Comment down below for your predictions. Alrighty. I'm like battling to have to uh, make this video before it rains. I know it looks like super bright out, but I promise you. Actually, I think it's raining right now. Should have, should have got off the couch a little earlier to make this video. Yep, I am definitely getting rained on. That's all right. So, like I mentioned in the uh, previous clip, all I have is just the the intake and uh, different jetting um, from Man in the Box that is equipped to the Navi. Like I said, I don't I don't expect us to get. To get much over 50 miles an hour those are huge raindrops that are freaking hitting me oh and then of course i must mention you know besides the intake and the jetting i have we have a different clutch different variator different spring uh different different rollers i totally forgot to mention that i don't know how i how i uh i don't know i just drew a blank and uh <laughs> forgot about all that so yeah we have all that stuff done in the uh for the drivetrain as well other than that, um, the Yoshimura exhaust should be here next month. If I had to guess, it's probably going to be at the end of next month. But and I and I cannot wait to uh, to install that exhaust on the uh, on the Honda Navi, especially after I got to uh, um, listen to it and you know drive it, drive the one at the uh, Barber Small Board. That was extremely fun. I don't know if you can hear on camera, but. The, uh, the exhaust on my Navi backfires like crazy now, especially on diesel after holding it wide open throttle. Now this video may be a little bit longer than than normal, but I know you guys like riding content, so here we are making some riding content. <clears throat> I hope I don't get absolutely just the bottom falls out and it rains like extremely hard. We may need to get some gas too on this. So, but I mean, for the most part, if you're watching this video and you have a Honda Navi, comment down below what your top speed is, flat surface, not going downhill, and uh, how often do you ride it? Like, what's your daily commute on it? Like, uh, we've got 333 miles on mine, and this is just, I'd say, more leisure than anything, and just riding up to the gas station or dollar store to pick up little grocery stuff here and there because this storage compartment I think it's like 15 liters so there's there's plenty of room uh, in the storage compartment and like I said I, I absolutely love 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 this bike oh, okay so we were going 30 like I said I think with this 90 90 10 tire instead of having the 190 10 I think the bike is off about two miles an hour so we're gonna we're gonna turn left up here at the light and try to find a top speed on this thing. I doubt it. Uh, like I said, I, I doubt we're gonna get much over 52, 53 miles an hour. That was my neighbor. He didn't look too happy to see me. <laughs> Comment down below. Let me know if you guys enjoy more uh, more riding style videos like this. We could do this on the on the Grom. We could do this on the 
on the Duke as well. I do want to get some more beach riding content uh, with the GoPro on the helmet because I just think that's just a cool POV riding through the beach and stuff because you know not everybody gets the the leisure or the pleasure of riding being able to ride to the beach uh, on their bike so let's make this left up here we're gonna go full throttle let her eat I'm gonna pull the uh, pull my cell phone out get this uh, draggy stuff up and going go reset all right let's hit this thing she want to die here we go reset all right let's wait on this light all right here we go put my helmet down see what wide open throttle baby she ain't got no more there's 40 speed limit is 45 there's 45 This thing tucked. Let's go. Come on, hit 50. She's pegged out. She don't want to go 50. She don't want to go much faster than 50. All right, let's, let's make a turn right here. Whew, she's backfiring already. Let me pull my phone out, and we're gonna reset the draggy. All right, so that's done. Let's reset that. Come to a complete stop. Alrighty. Gonna let these cars go by because this thing is not that fast. God bless it. It's so hot. All right, here we go. Let's see what. So we can get, see what the draggy says. Wide open throttle, here we go. That's probably 52 miles an hour, maybe 53. I'm impressed though. I'm sure it took it a long time to get up there. <laughs> I think it's backfiring like crazy. Uh, my girl Kylie hates that. She, every time it, it backfires like that, she thinks it's popping her leg or something. I'm like, it's not bothering your leg. I'll be curious to see, uh, I'm going to pull over here in the neighborhood and see, look at the, uh, look at the draggy data and see how fast we got up to. Alrighty, let's see. Uh, 0 to 30. Let's see me, history. 0 to 60. There ain't no way this thing went 60 miles an hour. Mm, zero to sixty. Other. Wait, was that today? What's that with? I don't think that's with that. So we need to get back to the house and uh, check out. Let's see. Zero. To, oh, zero to thirty. Six point seven. That's not bad. Check that out. All right, so let's get uh, this app's being so. Let's get back to the house and then we'll check out check out all the data. I'm sure this video is already super long. We just got back and I was reviewing uh, the draggy stuff. We got up to 51.25 miles an hour. Like I said, I didn't think we were going to go much over uh, 52. So we went 51.25 miles an hour on the Navi. I, I'm I'm curious to see how how this will stack up and change uh, once we get the exhaust. And then uh, David Hugh from DHM Motoring is working on a high compression piston. I think it's currently being tested uh, with Minimoto Nation. So as soon as that comes out, 
you already know uh, the Navi is going to get one uh, as well. But that is going to do it uh, for today's video. I'm going to go cool off, uh, edit this footage, and I'll catch you all in the next video. If you all are stopping here for the first time, please hit that subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications. Leave this video a big thumbs up, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.